One of the most natural things that we do as sports fans is compare and contrast various athletes in their respective crafts. Who can run faster, who can jump higher, and who can throw longer. This simple side-to-side -side comparison is honestly a mandatory part of the sporting world, as it does give us a closer look at who is doing what and where they can improve. And this competitive listing is a massive driving force to athletes getting better and aiming for higher performances. In the recent World Indoor Track and Field Championships in Glasgow, Scotland, we compared many different athletes in their overall split times, from Christian Coleman and Noah Lyles in the 60-meter dash, to Josh Kerr and Jordy Beamish in the 3,000 and the 1,500 meters. There are so many great athletes out there in the running world, and these statistical breakdowns showcase what exactly is happening during this indoor season. However, just recently, we saw another type of comparison that is just so undeniably weird that it just might be the most cringe comparison that I have ever seen in the running world. Now, every couple of months, a speed comparison with Usain Bolt inevitably surfaces from some corner of the internet. Recently, we saw Tyreek Hill doing his annual Bolt comparison, which, by the way, Bolt always wins. However, on BBC's sporting page on Twitter, we saw this bizarre comparison between Kylian Mbappe and Usain Bolt, and it stated that Kylian Mbappe has clocked an estimated speed of 10.9 seconds over the 100 meters. That's just over a second slower than Usain Bolt's world record. <laughs> oh boy. Now, for anyone that knows anything about the 100 meters and just overall sprinting in general, you will immediately be able to identify why this comparison is just so out of touch with reality. For Bolt, his 9.58 100 world record is highly regarded as one of the most untouchable world records in track and field, and it still makes him the only athlete to ever break 9.6 in the 100 meters. Even if you compare 9.58 to 10 seconds flat, it is an absolutely massive difference between the two. And honestly, if you even run 10 flat, you are probably not going to make it to a world final. But placing an estimated 10.9 second 100 meters next to 9.58 showcases not only a tragically slower performance, but it places that level of performance right around here. This is around 20 to 25 meters, ladies and gentlemen, a gargantuan difference in the 100 meter dash. To take this comparison a step further, a 100 meter time of 10.9 seconds is such a colossal step behind Bolt that it barely even stays competitive with the fastest women in the world. For 2023, a 100 meter performance of 10.9 would place Mbappe at 13th in the world on the women's side, and it's also noteworthy to mention that Shanti Jackson here, the 11th fastest woman in the world in 2023, was a high schooler when she was competing. I really don't understand why someone would want to post this. Did they actually think that this time was worth bragging about? Or possibly was this just a masterpiece of sporting marketing that they knew would cause a stir from the athletics world? Either way, this post definitely deserves a mention, because I don't know what was going through the minds of the people that posted this. Now before we dig any deeper into this comparison, I wanted to point out something that is very important, and that's that football players are not supposed to be natural sprinters. They're more likened to middle distance or even distance running athletes. In any given game, an athlete such as Mbappe is estimated to run anywhere from 5 to 7.5 miles, so with such endurance requirements, it is nearly impossible to find a pure, natural sprinter at the highest levels. This comparison honestly doesn't even deserve a comparison, and it still does leave me quite perplexed. But there is also another Bolt comparison that has just surfaced that has been taken out of context for years, and it's probably not for the reason that you think. In this year's NFL scouting combine, we saw Xavier Worthy break the 40-yard dash record with a crazy impressive performance of 4.21 seconds, which actually dethroned the previous best of John Ross that has stood since 2017 at 4.22 seconds. This is fast. This is honestly lightning fast. And with such a speedy clocking, there was only one comparison that many were ready to make. 
littered across social media was this one post, placing Worthy at 4.21, and it also placed Usain Bolt at 4.22 seconds. According to this picture, Worthy had just made a crazy kind of history, dethroning the king and taking down a personal best from the absolute goat of the sprinting world. Thousands upon thousands of fans flocked to this post to congratulate the young man for his recent achievement and pat him on the back for such an iconic sprinting moment. However, we definitely need to take a closer look at Bolt's 4.22. Back in 2019, Bolt randomly decided to jump into a casual 40-yard dash at the 2019 Super Bowl, and for this run, Bolt was already retired, and the man was wearing sweatpants and non-spiked shoes. Bolt could honestly run a 4.22 second 40-yard dash in his sleep, and this was just further proof that he was still one of the greatest sprinters in the world, except for the fact that this performance was not exactly the truth. Upon deeper analysis, Bolt's performance here in 2019 was closer to 4.5 to 4.65 seconds. Now this might come as a shock to many of you, but this has come from years of hand-timed clockings and also frame-by-frame -frame analysis from various people around the world. Think about it, Bolt had already retired for two years, and even though he was still clearly fast, this was a time that was slightly too good to be true. And when you realize also that the timing equipment at the Super Bowl party most definitely was not up to official timing standards, it becomes more and more evident that 4.22 was just not reality. But what about Bolt during his prime? What exactly was he capable of when he was at the very peak of his powers? Did he ever run an official 40-yard dash during this time? Well, not exactly. But we do have a solid estimate at what he did run during his best race. And this time, this unbelievable sprinting moment just might leave you speechless. At the 2009 World Track and Field Championships in Berlin, Germany, Bolt was simply unbeatable. For this race, he clocked a new world record time of 9.58, which to this day still dwarfs anything else that any other sprinter has ever done in the Open 100. And from this race, we also have a calculated 60 meter split time of 6.31, which incredibly is actually faster than the current official world record in the 60 meter dash, which stands at 6.35 four seconds from Christian Coleman. This kind of early acceleration and explosive power out of the blocks was just wild to witness. Even against the best runners in the world at the time, such as Tyson Gay and Asafa Powell, Bolt was nearly gone from the gun here. At 6.31, Bolt's explosive speed was unchallenged on this day. And if we eliminate his opening reaction time, which is done in the NFL Combine, his opening 40-yard dash in this race is estimated to be anywhere from 4.08 seconds up to 4.13 seconds. Obviously, this was much faster than what Xavier Worthy just did, and it's faster than any NFL Combine athlete in history. And it's also important to mention that this is right around the split that Christian Coleman ran when he performed for ESPN about six years ago. So if we're really going to compare an NFL player with Usain Bolt, we need to place the most accurate estimation next to Usain Bolt's name. And even at a conservative estimate, Bolt would still win this race by daylight.